That's one prawn. Oh! Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. Woo! As you can see, we have Jen here. Okay. She's back. <laughs> Thanks to all the support that she received yes. in the comments. Thank you so much, guys. I read everything. I'm glad okay. I'm loved on your show. <laughs> so we are in Pasiris. We are at the east side. We are still is, in the east. Which is my favorite side. Really? West side, best side. Are you familiar with Pasri's food? I have this store that you have to try. It's like my go-to whenever I'm here. So please like and subscribe to our channel and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss any new posts. Let's go check out some good food. Yay! So, Yo. Jen, <laughs> I have brought you to a secret HDB coffee place. I am actually, this is yeah. my first time seeing this. So yeah, it's yeah. quite interesting. I think COVID, a lot of home-based business mm -hmm. were born. This guy is selling coffee out of his window. So it's super innovative. Right? Yeah. I, I would never have thought of doing it. He actually created a, like a retail front through his window. You can't walk in, so you have to pre-order your coffee and then come and pick it up. But yeah. wait, wouldn't it be cool if like you actually see a queue? So he used to do that. Oh, he used to do that? Yeah, but then it's his neighbours complain. Oh. Complain, complain, complain. Okay, so he only sells coffees on Friday, Saturday, Sunday because he has a full-time job as well. So on Thursday night, 10 p.m., the pre-order will open. Oh, oh only 10 p.m. the day 10 before. p.m., I don't know why. Wow. Yeah. So we actually pre-ordered already. <laughs> Let's go pick up our coffee. By the window. Hi. Hi, I'm Seth. Thanks for... Yeah, thanks for... Uh... Well, this is a little bit awkward. So you have like them. barista background? Nope. Oh. You have zero barista background. And this is machine daily, right? So from there I learned like what I can improve on and how to mm. So how long did it take you to like R and D and officially launch it? About three months. Two, three months, okay. Okay. So the coffees are Yay. finally here. So nice, yeah. even have design everything. Yeah, so this one is a regular latte. Regular latte. This is the chocolate. Uh, there's no coffee in this. So let's give it a shot. Cheers! Good morning. It tastes like chocolate milk, but without milk. Like just liquid chocolate. It's a mild latte. It's a mild latte. Not very caffeinated. caffeinated. Like, I think it's like a single shot. But I feel like maybe coffee coffee before won't be like big fans. The, the chocolate is actually really Chocolate nice. is very good. And then you have the... This oat milk. This is your oat milk one. So we got the lavender I'm latte. I'm very curious. Did he infuse it in the milk or he infuse it in the coffee? I, I think actually most likely it's going to be some kind of palm syrup. Try. Wow, I have no idea how to describe this man. Initial like sip, very nice. Like the floral lavender is like comes through, like in a very mild manner. But then like at the end, a bit jarring. Eh? A bit jarring. It feels like he might actually have. Yeah, used, he used like the uh, raw yeah, lavender, buds. lavender yeah. buds. Yeah. Oh, I think I know why. The floral lavender like coincides with the very bitter coffee. So like the bitterness of the coffee enhances the bitterness of the lavender. Cause lavender is naturally bitter, so it might get slightly too much at the end. Interesting. But it's really like addictive, no? So how much would you read? Take okay. into account the, I'm thinking the, about the, the innovation. The innovation, well. like the yeah, nuance yeah, yeah. of being like yeah. at this weird area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's super innovative. Props to him. And like yeah. him not being a barista at all at first, yeah. to be able to do this. I think it's like a 4. I'll give it a 3.5. It's actually, it was a bit of a hassle to pre-book this. It opens at Thursday, 10pm. And then you gotta go camp for your slot uh, and place your order. So it, it's, it's a bit troublesome. Yeah. Yeah. I like that the lavender is actually natural lavender. It wasn't yeah, like yeah, a yeah. pump. And that's why I gave it a higher mark. Because you could very easily just find like... Uh, effort, effort is there. Yeah, effort is there. He could, I don't know, balance the flavour somehow like better. Yeah, slightly it's, more. It's, it's, uh, it's this weird like bitter aftertaste. I'm gonna get really jittery after this. Stop drinking so much then. Transition. <laughs> so actually, pasteries. I didn't know what else is there to eat besides the hawker center. Pasteries. Bring me around. Most of the recommendations are in the hawker center. So it's like all center. accumulated in yeah. that one place. Yeah. Right, so where are we again? Tempanese. Uh, no. Tempanese. Tem your head up. Tempanese. <laughs> Pasteries, yes, yes, Pasteries. Yeah. And this is the place you were saying you come very often, right? Yeah. What's good here? Uh, there's this soup, the, right? Uh, Pao uh, the soup. And then there's uh, Raimondo, super popular. Yes. Uh, 
So this is Raymondo. Okay, the signature is the seafood bungee. Yeah. I think it's a size. Get a small one. Yeah. Just get a small one. All right. Sure, come back. Wantan Mi, new store by the Raimondo Konji. It looks actually quite interesting, so I wanted to try. They use apparently a, a duck egg noodle. They smoke their own chashu also, so you know, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we are at, uh, it's called Liang Liang uh, Pao Fan, uh, your normal Pao Fan. And I think something that is like super good is their soup. And I come here almost like every time I got a chance to be at Pasir Ris. I'm going to take this one. Okay. This one is a ramen. We've ordered all the food, so there were a few stalls that we actually wanted to buy, but Wild wow, Olives is one. But as you can see, the queue is like, whoa. Then the other thing we actually wanted to try was Nonya Popoke, uh, but surprisingly, they are closed. But there are some new stalls as well. Okay, so I bought three dishes from Liang Liang Golden Soup. The magical thing is their, okay. their broth, uh, the right. signature one. So it has like all the seafood inside. Actually, the broth, right, is made of, uh, you know, char yi gu, shark so shark, bone. Shark, shark bone. bone collagen kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Plus the, like a lot of chicken, and then they also have this. I love soup, uh, so looking forward to this. Luro fan. Yeah, but why this is so random though? Why why they sell soups, right? Then suddenly got luro fan. I think maybe the uncle just like can do a lot of things. So you tried the luro fan before? I tried it before. Awesome. Uh, I bought from Raimondo Seafood Congee. So this one I think you are familiar also. Super popular. And then we have a side of salmon. I don't know why. It's like, a <laughs> pea smoked yeah. salmon. The last thing we got was this uh, one time meal. At this point of the shoot date, la, they open for seven days only. So it's eating way like sure eating. come back one time me. So this is actually owned by the same owner as Raymondo. Oh. So he actually spin off to open this. So the unique thing is this is made with duck egg noodle. I'm hungry. It looks very generous, like yeah. the ingredients. There's like a mix of fried fish, yes, lala, fish, inoki with pork. Mm. So it's really good. The ramen is a bit on the softer side. The inoki is a bit random though. Maybe they wanted to do like a soft and soft style. Yeah, but I really like the soup. Like, is is that that thick collagen, collagen frequency? Yeah. Good recommendation. Good luro fun. Sure. I have to say the pork. It really got the ratio of fat to lean like really well. I always Mouth benchmark feel. like every luro fan to yeah. Taiwan standard. Because like, when I go to Taiwan, like, yeah. I have to eat luro fan. And like I feel like this one quite close. And like the flavours are not too like overpowering. It's all very like comforting. <coughs> yeah, the surprising is quite good. I recommend the soy. I feel like complements very well with the soup. It's like okay. super crispy. Yeah, it's quite interesting. How would you rate this? Are you five. A five? Is this your five? My favorite store oh, here. It's pretty good. I give it a 4.5. 4 I'm just not a fan of like the like the random things. It's a soup. Then suddenly got Luro fun. Yeah, like, I actually had I mean, the same sentiments. <laughs> but then I tried it. Yeah, yeah. But and individually, like, oh. they taste really good. This soup especially, I think it's really good. I would probably have gone for the rice one, like the pao fun. Is that two prawns? I think that was like one prawn. One prawn? Oh no, oh. then how? Can I eat your prawn? Yes, go okay. ahead. One prawn. Oh! <laughs> you wasted the prawn. I'm sorry. If I'm not wrong, there's scallop. There's scallop. Uh, there's this mock uh, crab, crab stick. stick. I and, saw a clam. Uh, definitely some kind of shellfish inside. It's very thick, yeah. Mmm, so nicely cooked. It's like just right. It's like a seafood congee, right? I think what could go wrong is like it's too fishy. But I think like here it's like just right. Seafoody without being too much. I think the smokiness probably helps it to... It helps to mask. To mask any yeah. seafood fishiness. Yeah. And it's like really it's nice. a bit like a treasure trove. Because I mm. keep digging. And it's like something new. Oh, yeah. there's clam, there's scallop. There's different textures also. After so long, it's still so good. A bit yum though, like, a bit salty. They got a bit of wasabi mayo. Maybe they taste a bit like cured salmon though. Less salty than cured salmon, like actual cured. <coughs> very moist, like super moist. I'll give Raymond though a five. Yeah. Everything was a five. No, but it's really good. Are you just biased? Because I have nothing to hate on. It's like comforting, I love seafood, so much layer. The salmon so moist. It's interesting enough. As a hopper yeah. I give it a 4. I think what put it down for me was actually the salmon. I found it a bit too salty. Ah. Mm. 
A bit overcooked. Uh. A bit noir. But flavor-wise, not bad. Overcooked it a bit, so it's a bit too soft. But I like the flavor. I like the noodle texture. It's slightly yeah. too oily. I, like, I don't know if I like it, if yeah. it's a whole bowl. Like one mouth, like great. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, it's like... I think Raymond really um, has figured out how to smoke things. Uh. Yeah, I think it's very think it's like walk -a. The chashu actually has that same smokiness yeah. that mm -hmm. the salmon has. Yeah. I guess a bit of refinement they need to yeah. go into this. I mean, seven days old, not bad. Uh. Try. Try the soup. I like it. It tastes very rich in daikon. And like, you know, I love oden. This does taste like an oden soup. Yeah, a very mild oden. I think the soup complements the oiliness of the noodles. Yeah. It's very light. And I think the sweetness will cut through the, the oiliness of the noodles a bit. I feel overall, I'll give it like a 3.5 For now, I think it'll be a 3 for me Quite a few things to, to refine here But I'm sure they'll get there like This, this uh, very experienced guy And he loves to tweak his yeah. noodles and his stall recipes Win! I just realised I gave two fives eh. So generous today But it's good man So what do you do as a hobby? Besides being sad It's a hobby <laughs> I've been wanting to go back to my surf skate he was a boy. Why are we going next? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Oh, it's at Downtown East. Oh, is it the burgers place? It's a Rumley Burger concept. La. So we're now at E! Exclamation Hub. We're here to try Ministry of Burger. -da -da. So do you sell the Thunder Burger? Ye Can we get one? Right, right, we got a rumly burger. It's huge! Four patties, right? Four patties, two in egg. So we have two okay. eggs inside there also. So uh. they make the egg into like a blanket, then they wrap it. Also, only two is like me. Yes, there's the lettuce tomato. Yeah. No cheese. Yeah. We couldn't order cheese, the guy forgot. Oh well, I guess. This is not. Okay, so we got the beef. Friendly to people who have smaller. And fish. Okay, so, so generally man managed to eat like two patties. Maybe mm. you like squash it. Like, I'm yes. trying to but it's very dense. Uh. Eh. I can't. You're a failure. What in the world is a Ramli? Like we know, like we associate Ramli burger with that street side, really like mm. sloppy mess. Mm -hmm. What exactly is Rumley? Rumley is the brand of the patty. The patty that they use. Mm. So where can you get it? Malaysian. I have no idea man. This is a Malaysia brand. Oh, it's a Malaysia um, brand. I still remember my first yeah. encounter with Rumley. In primary school or secondary school, we always have this like uh -huh. fairs. Yeah. And then my school specially ordered like Rumley, like live mm. station, for like the whole cohort. It was quite impressive. And then everybody went batshit crazy. It tastes like processed burger meat. I mean, but it, it is, is, it is, it is like, processed yeah. burger meat. I think this feels more clean. Clean tasting. Like, uh. not too salty. Mm. Not overly seasoned. Like, the sauce isn't like dripping everywhere. Yeah, but uh, I like the style. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, sauce everywhere. Yeah, which bro. that one is like more nostalgic. This yeah, one yeah. is more like uh. different. Okay, do I rate it like as a Romney burger or do I rate it as like a burger burger? As a place that you go for burgers. For burgers. Like a two? A two? Okay. Because I really love my beef burgers. Sorry. It has to have cheese. And then like this is like processed <laughs> patties, yeah, uh. which is not something I would personally like go for. It's hot. Oh wow, the best thing about this burger, it's hot. Oh, that's hot. Uh, I give it three. I think three. I, I can imagine it as a not the four patty version, but like a, yeah, like maybe max two patties. Uh, I think that's like you can still eat it. My expectations for a Ramli burger stall is like that long. Okay, let's go. Three okay. things. Burgers. I, in my mind, it's like burgers falling down, but my my image is never fulfilled by our editor. You were recently on the uh, Harper's Bazaar. How's that? How did that work? So fun. So they call it the 2022 Power List. They choose a particular team and then they find like the women to like represent that theme. So this year is like mm -hmm. female owners okay. of like F&B establishments. Female F&B owners. Yeah. I think it's the first time that I went into like a Singapore-based shoot shoot. Like a, this like mm -hmm. professional shoot that I felt really comfortable. I'm always asked to do shoots that portrays me as this like chef. 
I'm always in my chef jacket. Which is nothing wrong, but I think it's like a bit overplayed. It was very nice to feel very feminine because it's Harper's Bazaar. So they were very concerned about like style. And then we get to wear like dresses, like full blown hair, like make makeup, everything. Mm. And like a lot of the questions that they asked was very personality based. What's the style or the piece of clothing that you feel the most confident in? So I answered, like okay. I said, a silk dress. Everyone always expects you to be this like must always wear like chef jacket, yeah. shoes, long pants. Uh, and we are always trying to put up a front to like compete with like the very big men culture. But a lot of times like you don't really feel like sexy. Yeah. But then when like it's time to like have fun, then like you can dissociate from that persona okay. and then you can just be in a silk dress for example. So it's already done. Okay, let's do a photo. Actually, we should put it on YouTube. Okay, so we came all the way to this industrial area, try this Luoyang Wei big prawn noodle, but they closed. Let's look around though. Oh, it's just spinach soup. Doesn't look very exciting. So this other spot I saw, Bistro at the Park. Oh! Okay. Well, they left you inside, that's another issue. It's open, yeah? Yeah, according to Google Map. Okay, okay. so after our yeah. failure to eat from Loyang Wei Big Prawn Noodle, we are going to try to go to, we're driving back to the park area. It's quite a challenge to find things in Batsuri. It's a real challenge for food finders. Even our top 10 guide, right, is like half of it is just in the, in the opposite center. Then where's the other half? I, I, this Loyang Wei Prawn Noodle is, is, is one of them also. Okay. There's not a lot of good places to eat in Batsuri. Like literally back here. Yeah. I think we might as well try the pronoholic. Pronoholic. <laughs> then we can drink. We can ah, drink. we just oh, go and try so. pronoholic. Ah, this is so sad. Yeah, the, the main reason we didn't want to do pronoholic is because we were going to do like the Loyang way. We just go one big round, end up at the same place, and then okay, I feel no, like. No, 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 no. Okay, we're not going to try pronoholic. We're going to go to the bistro and try something different. Alright, yeah, so we found it. Bistro at the park. Sure. This was our desperate second find. It has. Fishing also. Okay, long fishing. You know what? Okay, if they if they do have the fishing thing, I, I will gladly let you try to fish for your own meal. Ten minutes later. Oh, oh they're still closed. The they're is closed. closed. Bistro at the park is closed. So we were wandering around Bistro at the park. We wanted the fish. Yeah, we wanted the fish. Yeah. It would be something fun, but, but there was no no provisions but. for cooking. <laughs> The place that opens, that can do the cooking, Bistro at the Park, only opens at 4 plus 5. So we abandoned that plan, came back to Pastries Hawker Centre. So initially, I also highlighted Pronaholic as one of the stores to try, but we were going to go to Loyang Way Big Prawn Noodle, so I didn't want to repeat Prawn Noodle. But made one round and we're back here. Flashback. Oh no, 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 okay, we're not going to try Pronaholic. This episode is just Pastries Hawker Centre. Centre, Hawker Centre. Episode. episode. Can we get the King Prawn Noodle? Uh, uh, one bowl, yeah, there it is. So this is what we got. We got the king prawn meat giant bowl. meat mince meat bowl thing. It's uh, a like, chashu as well. A lot of pork lard. It the looks soup, really good actually. The soup actually looks really good though. Oh. oh. It actually looks like there's some chili inside. Like you can see the seeds. Mm. Like the chili seed. Like the noodle is like slightly sticky but not too much. Like the sauce like clings onto like every strand, which is pretty good. There's this like crunchy mix at the yeah. side with like garlic, shallots or that's something. That's a garlic shallot thing, right? Yeah, like and then we thing. mix it with the noodles. It adds like this like crunch of like flavour. Whatever this piece of pork is, uh, Whoa. It's, it's really good, yeah. It's lean but it's quite tender. You know like char siu? It's not but like not char siu. Sweet. This looks like a very modern uh, mo modern prawn noodle, you know. The size consistency a bit different. <laughs> oh, it's really good. I, I, I really love this interpretation of prawn noodle. Prawn noodle. It's very different. I would pick this over Raimondo. But then you give Raimondo 5 already, eh? Downgrade, 4.5. Uh, 
5. Hey, everything here also give 5. I already said it's good food. <laughs> this one, I'll give 5 stars. Right? I really like this it's prawn good. noodle. I think it's a surprising find after going all around Basris. I feel like every there. component in this bowl was like well executed. Every part, they are like, okay, what should I do with the noodles? What should I do with the sauce? What should I do with the prawns? Like, the way it was presented was really like attractive as well. The char siu is like unique in its own way. The pork lard is like fried to like proper consistency. And the soup is like them kao. Yes, sorry. It's pronaholic at the New York. You know that the hawker? The, the hawker, wait, wait, are they? Let's check, let's check. Yes! Corner Holic Collection is open at uh, Urban Hawker. I, I, when, I, when I heard about the news, I was so happy. Like Singapore food in New York. Yeah. So, we are back in the car. What we found is that mm -hmm. everything is congregated at one space. Mm -hmm. But the good news is that this one space is very good prospects mm. for a lot of good food. Actually, anyhow, eat also like yeah, in, in Pasri Hawker Centre. Like, still very good. I find it hard to find anything else out of um, mm. the Hawker Centre. What, what are some of the favourites? I think the top two is the Prono Holic and Yum Yum. And honestly, soup. The, the, the coffee in the morning, for someone who's a non-coffee drinker, yep. I liked it because it wasn't mm. too strong. Any recommendations? That's not in Pasri Hawker Centre. Let us know. Please let us know because wow, it's really super challenging. Let's go through comments. Have Jen again next season. She did amazing. Great to have a chef's perspective. So yeah. So chill and knowledgeable about SG food. A true heartlander. Okay. I think people find you to be very heartlandish. I mean, I am. I always stay in heartlands. Mm -hmm. So enjoy this video. Wish it was longer. And Jen was an absolute delight. Is it not long enough? Master Chef run up being so young and having her own business. She came across as really genuine, very rare, bracket, and authentic. Also humble and no airs. Hope to see her more. Oh wait, I saw your previous video with what are names? Oh, name? with Joy. Oh yeah, Joy. She's so so fun. Thank you so much. Uh, I was like texting uh -huh. her. Like, Why were you guys texting? No, I just I said like good job. Oh, like, so you text her on what, Instagram? Yeah, the girl mm -hmm. have to have each other's back, you know. But I think generally good job. Th thank you genuine. for commenting so much. Do support Jen. Thanks for watching this episode. Yes. Do remember to like, subscribe, and comment to our channel. And, and we'll see Jen we'll again see. next really? time. Okay. Uh -huh. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks. Till next time. Bye. Yeah. See you